I have put off the old self and put on the new. I am not going to lie to you by telling you that I don't sin anymore. But at least I try by practicing a love for others that I did not show them before. Only begotten must mean that no one else could be born by God's word in the same uniquely glorious sense that Jesus was. We are all begotten through the same word, but it was written with the intent of making only one of us the Lord. Jesus is the one and only Son who became a complete embodiment of it. When you decide to show some real faith by listening to me and allowing the Spirit in you to break forth in the way I've asked militantly, we can successfully rise up against this ungodly world and destroy it regardless of whatever stands in our way. This is a God thing, and we are going to do it the God way. If you are a believer, I will only base your judgment on the good works you did to serve me, since they are the only things I still have recorded in the book of deeds, because your sins were removed from it when you accepted Christ as your Savior. Stop acting like you are depressed. And start acting like you are blessed. Adam was not the one deceived by Satan. It was the woman who was deceived by Satan. And became the first sinner. However, even though he was not directly deceived by Satan, he was still deceived by him through Eve. Pastors need to be held accountable for what they teach. And that is why the church needs to have authority and hierarchy necessary to ensure that all preachers of God's word are preaching sound doctrine. You are a fallen being and living a lie if you do not hold to the truth that you are a begotten child of God. It is in the pages of the New Testament that one who saves you with the truth is revealed. But so is the one who destroys you with the lie. The Holy One versus the Evil One. Before you let them label me as an evil dictator and a tyrant, read the whole book. I would rather you pray for me to succeed instead of just praying for me to stop what I'm doing. The persecutors of today 
are the prosecutors who will not allow people to be forgiven. Even if the victims of the crime want to exercise his Christian duty to forgive others, the state will eagerly pick up the charges so they can destroy and devour another wrongdoer's life. Placing the state in the position of always being the adversary who opposes its own citizens has created a world that feeds on its own people. I do realize that there are some crimes that cannot go entirely unpunished. But for most of them, there are better ways of handling them. Treating their deception and helping them be better people is better than just locking them up and throwing away the food. Those that transgress the law should not be looked at as, at as a source of income either to further fund their Satan-empowered justice system. If they really want to be a service to society, they would require that people be allowed to repent. And if they refuse the offer to keep no record of their wrongs, then you should expel them. There must be another life after this because it is the only way to make sense of the life we now have. If this is all there is, and there is no such thing as eternal life, then it would have been better if God had not created us in the first place. Because for most of us, this has been a life of suffering. You are sinning if you do not practice and teach that the law and its commands apply to us who are under the new covenant. Being without the law is just as bad as breaking the law. Because all sin is the result of being lawless. Jesus appeared to take away sin. He did not appear to take away the law so that lawlessness could reign. Those that try to fulfill the law are the greatest in the kingdom, while those that try to abolish it will be called the least.